Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Monday, July 20th. Today the Universal Church celebrates St. Apollinarius, who was appointed by St. Peter to be the first bishop of Vienna in Italy. After suffering harsh treatment over many years, St. Apollinarius was eventually killed because of his position as a bishop. And today's passage, given to us by the Universal Church, comes from the 10th chapter of St. John's Gospel, to honor St. Apollinarius, who truly was a good shepherd. This passage reads as follows. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know mine and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. Many different thoughts came to my mind as I prayed with this passage, but my mind eventually settled on the reality that a good shepherd will never know when the threat will come. For example, a wolf will never announce when it plans to attack because this goes against its own best interest. Therefore, the good shepherd, out of love and duty for the sheep, will make whatever sacrifice is needed when the time comes. But again, this person would never know when this type of sacrifice would need to be made. And this was the experience of St. Apollinarius. As I mentioned, he suffered harsh treatment throughout his ministry, enduring what is believed to have been four different exiles away from his diocese before he was killed. This saint of the early church not only did not know when his enemies would attack, but even when they did, these events did not discourage him. He kept preaching, teaching, and healing in accordance with his duty as a shepherd of the church. And since his faith was rooted in Jesus Christ, he was able to imitate Jesus not only in his suffering, but even in his own death. So we as leaders of churches, families, workplaces, and other groups, we have to commit to making sure that we're ready to face the threats that come against these communities. Like the Good Shepherd, we do not know when the wolves will come. We don't know when dangers will come. But it'll be our duty to make sure that we try our best to make sure we take care of those who are in our charge. We may not have to experience suffering like St. Apollinarius or our Savior Jesus Christ, but the mantle of leadership does require sacrifice. So maybe this week we need to spend some time in prayer, asking the Lord what more we need to do in support of those who we are responsible for in our lives. Are we truly being good shepherds? Or are we acting as if we're simply hired workers who just put in the time and nothing more? How we answer this question could help us to find new purpose and meaning within these difficult days because the Lord truly wants us to be instruments of his love and mercy, especially towards those whom he has put in our charge. Please be assured of my continued thoughts and prayers for all of you. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.